Hello everyone, welcome to Visual Basic uh, Tutorials for Databases. Uh, sorry for not posting tutorials earlier, but I've been too busy. The last tutorial was explaining uh, or explains uh, the ADO.NET framework. Basically, the information is stored in a database. Data adapter gets that information, put it in a data set and then data set is being used by data binding in order to display the information in a graphical user interface. Today we are going to focus on the graphical user interface, in other words the controls that display information from the database. Okay, and uh, actually we're going to talk about one control which is data grid view and later tutorials we will uh, work with other controls and then we are gonna uh, later on discuss other stuff like uh, working <coughs> with transactions and uh, stuff like that <coughs> so uh, for testing purposes I have this database it is an express edition SQL express edition uh, database it comes with Visual Studio and uh, <coughs> In your case, you might want to use Access. We have two tables here. The first one is Employees Tables, contains the ID and the name. Second one is Working Days, that contains the ID of the employee and the working day for that employee. So right now, in order to start our project, uh, go to Data Sources, if you don't already have that, and select Project, uh, sorry, select Data, and add a uh, Data Source. We're gonna select Database, click next in my case I'm gonna uh, select my data source if you don't uh, in, in your case I'm guessing you will have to use new connection and link to an access database <laughs> click next uh, this is the connection string we'll get that later on so here you select the tables you want to display okay I want to I want these two tables okay and I click finish wait a few seconds and this is it so my uh, my data set which is called test data set contains two tables employees and working days obviously uh, we have the data set of course we need the binding source so this is the binding source okay um, yeah so right now, after selecting the binding source, let me call it BS, as you can see. Now, here you find the property data source. This is important. This is, uh, this is telling the control f where the data set is or what data set I'm trying to access. Uh, so here... Uh, click on this one click on this one you can see the uh, data set one now there is one important thing the data set contains two tables we want to access one of the available tables so the data member is telling me which table I'm trying to access so open this one and select employees as soon as you do that you will see the employees table adapter this is the data adapter to fill the employees table okay now since we are ready now to work with the data grid view go to the toolbox and select our data grid view here now as soon as you place the data grid view everything is ready for you so the first property is the most important one here which is the data source which tells you which information to display uh, obviously the uh, binding BS is here is our uh, data source uh, is the binding control so just click on this one and select BS okay as soon as you do that you can see the information here is is being displayed so let's run this okay as you can see each employee with his name okay let's go back to the control and examine things in more detail here so basically uh, the property if you go to the properties window of this control you will find wait a minute where is that where is that um, 
where is D? I'm getting confused. Okay, this is data source. So the data source property is the important one, which is telling you which uh, uh, which binding source you are linking this control to. The data member is used to specify which table you are displaying. Obviously, the binding source is is here linked to one table, so there is no need to to set this one. Uh, if I select the binding source, okay, and let's say select now working days to change my table um, okay uh, about this error I'm gonna make it disappear just click here select none so that data number is none and then click on it again and select working days uh, it will work perfectly fine so right now this data source has two table adapters one for uh, one adapter for each table and uh, right now this binding source is linked to the second table uh, this is the data set and data members specifying which table you are accessing. So let's run this. Okay, as you can see here. Now, let's go back to the data grid view. Okay, the data grid view, we, we talked about the data source, which specify our binding source. The data member, as we said, we don't use it in this case because the binding source represents one table. In some cases, if I select the binding source and set the data member to none, okay, it means the binding source is linked to the test data set, and this one contains already two tables, as you can see from data sources, here, already contains two tables. Now, since the data grid view is able to display one table at a time, in that case, data member now makes sense because it could it could tell me which table I can select. So for the data member here, select one of the tables and you will see that it can display information for you. Okay, I hope this is not uh, confusing. Uh, again, data member becomes valid when my binding source is linked to more than one table. Okay, if my binding source is linked to one table only, there is no need to set the data member. Okay, so let's run this just to see how it works. Okay, this is it. Now, uh, let's come here and, and check a number of things. So first thing, I can add rows, as you can see. Okay, uh, this is another one. Sorry. This is number five. Okay, so we can add rows. We can modify existing information. We can select a row and delete. Uh, we can resize and do lots of uh, stuff. Uh, but in many cases, you don't want to give such uh, control to the user. Uh, because of that, you can uh, manipulate the way the control works. So you can see here, enable adding, this will prevent the control from adding rows. Enable editing will prevent uh, user from editing. Enable deleting. Okay, so these are the most important properties. Uh, they are all packed into this small window. You just click on this arrow. Okay, uh, so you can do lots of things here. Okay, if you want to to come here, you can also um, f you are gonna find the same properties. So here you can see. I'll allow user to add rows, which is uh, allow user to delete rows, to order columns and stuff like that. Okay, so the, these are some of the important properties and the others you can e experiment with them. They are very easy and straightforward. Okay, the, th the other two that you might want to uh, check is that, uh, and my guess is row header visible now the row header is this part that allows you to select a row so here let me see when i click this one this is the row header what am i gonna do here wait a minute uh, where is row header visible i'm gonna set it to false as you can see now it, it disappears okay it disappeared so it disappeared now i cannot select a row okay so if you want to hide that you select this property uh, another one is selection mode okay now right now when I click on a cell I select only a single cell I don't select the whole row right as you can see uh, we can do some tricks for example uh, sorry or selection mode okay you just uh, gosh 
you select this one and furrow select now if I click on this one I click on any of these I can select the whole row right away okay and the rest of the properties are pretty straightforward and easy to use okay so uh, this is all about uh, the data grid view I hope you'll find this useful next next tutorial we are gonna find uh, out about the navigation control and about text boxes how you can link uh, the text box into uh, the database you are gonna find that it is pretty much similar most of the properties are the same most of them use the binding source and the data member it's as simple as that okay uh, hope you'll find this useful if you have any question or comments send them to uh, notes at uh, mk-soft.com uh, also check out the website you can see the full video there uh, without uh, um, uh, being uh, partitioned into parts and finally uh, you will find uh, uh, other tutorials and some samples hope this helps Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.